Hi, it's Richard here from Better Move Fitness. In this video, I'm going to show you guys one of the best exercises you can do to improve your knee stability, that is the clamshell. Clamshell is a great exercise if you want to improve your knee stability. The reason for that is because the clamshell targets your gluteus medius, which is on the side of your body. Now, this muscle is your primary knee stabilizer. So the gluteus medius has a very important role whenever you do movement. Basically what it does, it brings your leg into abduction, but where do we need this movement? Basically if I don't have this movement, whenever people they do squat, the knees they're coming in, they're collapsing, or whenever they go for running or walking, if I didn't have that move, the knees they keep falling in, which eventually can lead to injury. So it's very important that you know how to isolate and strengthen this muscle. So I think the best way to do a clamshell is if, if you have a chance to do it next to the wall because the wall gives you a great reference point. Because one of the common mistakes that normally people they do their clamshells, they're turning out a little bit too much. So for here for demonstrating purpose, we don't have a wall, but what I'm going to use behind my back is a water bottle. So to set up for the clamshell, I'm going to use one of these resistant bands. I put up a bit resistance band above my knees and I set up on the edge of my yoga mat. So I put my heels, my hip, and now my shoulders or scapula in the same spot. I'm close to my water bottle. I'm making sure I'm not putting my neck into this excessive lateral reflection. I'm just gonna put my spine into a neutral position, so two hands up and I'm not pushing against. Come down, my knees are 90 degrees over here and I'm tucking my tail in, which means posteriorly tilting my pelvic. Because what I want to do, I want to avoid an excessive curve over my spine. So if your pelvic tilts anteriorly, you're going to have an excessive curve over here on your spine. I don't want that, so I'm tucking my tail in forward. I go down. I'm ready to do the exercise. So what I do now, I'm just open up the shell, hold it there for four seconds. One, two, three, four. And I'm not dropping down, just nicely, I just calm down. And I go up again, say one, two, three, four, and down. So you don't want to turn. That's why the water bottle or your wall is behind you because as soon as you touch the wall, you know you're turning out too much. The other thing, don't curve your spine, always keep the hip tucked. And whenever you come down, don't drop your legs. It's another mistake that normally people that I see keep doing. They go up very nice and then suddenly they're just dropping their, their, their legs. It's very important that you're decelerating the movement. So you go up, one, two, three, four, and down. So with this exercise, I'm going to do about 12 to 20 of slow repetitions on both sides. You can do about one to up to five sets um, as part of your warm up or as a separate exercise. The ways to progress this exercise, you can always use like progress or regress this exercise. You can always use like a, a weaker resistance band or actually one of the harder resistance band you can also put some weights some some of those ankle weights on your knee for example or the other way i really like progressing this exercise if you go up to a side plank position then it's going to be very challenging so the way you do up that part of the progression is the same thing i'm on the edge of my yoga mat i go up into a side plank position Making sure my chin is tucked in, and my tail, and I just do the same clamshells. At this way, both parts of my glutes, medius, they are working. And this exercise is pretty challenging. So making sure you're not leaning forward too much. It's one of the common mistakes. Make sure you're not leaning back too much. So you try to be as straight as possible. My head, I'm 
keeping my hip up. Alright, so I hope you guys will get some great results by doing this exercise. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and stay in touch. Bye! I'm just going to show you very quick why the easiest way to set up this exercise is next to the wall. Okay, so in the previous videos when we were doing on the open air, it was a bit more difficult to set up, but really if you have a chance to do it next to a wall, it just make it a whole lot easier. Just make sure your dog is not there around you if you got one of those annoying dogs like we do. So, I just go out right to the edge. And here, right there, I'm touching the wall. I'm pressing my lower back a little bit to the wall and I just move back. So I have a very little gap, a very little gap behind my back. So as soon as I'm pushing the wall, as soon as I'm pushing the wall, I know I'm going for too far. And from here, it's super easy. Go up, one, two, three, four, and down. I go up, one, two, three, four, and down. Go up, one, two, three, four, and down. And the same with the side plank variation. I go up, I'm next to the wall, I touch the wall. I move back very little bit, even my head, very common. People's head just over here. I don't want it there. I want it back. Hip up, go up, one, two, three, four, and down. Up, one, two, three, four, and down. Up, one, two, three, four, and down. Thank you very much. There was a clam shell next to the wall. Peace out.